you here, I know I don't have a thing to worry about. Oh, well, thank you for your vote of confidence, sir. Jane, my Peter, come aboard you, something. I'm working an eight-hour shift at the hospital, and I'm coming here at night. It'll be kind of difficult. Well, actually, you're doing me a favor, Larry. I, I need to get busy. Can you set the rope? Thank you. 
why you want to pull that particular job. Well, I think that should be obvious. I own a publishing company, and his background is in publishing. Yes. I think I should have checked with you first. You don't seem very pleased. Oh, but I'm just surprised. I didn't think that Paul had decided what he wanted to do. Did he accept it? No. He said that he would consider it. But he was extremely interested in it. In fact, I just sent a memo over to him explaining the terms and the responsibilities, and I'm sure once he sees that, he'll, uh, he'll accept the position. Pat, I do hope that you'll encourage him to take the job. I'm sure that Paul will decide on the basis of what he wants. It is really none of my business. That is such a wonderful position. And besides, just think how convenient it'll be having him working every day in the same building. Yes. I must tell you how pleased I am that the two of you are back together. Dorian, we are not back together, as you put it. I told you before, he is simply staying at the house so that he can spend more time with Brian. Oh, yes, I know that. But with time, I'm sure that you and Paul will become husband and wife again, in every sense of the word. And frankly, Pat, I just never thought that you and Tony were right for each other. Well, I really must be going. Goodbye. Have a pleasant day. Look, uh, Kendall. I'm glad you're okay. What with your accident? But coming back here did nothing but ruin a lot of lives. You like to get right to the point, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You made Pat miserable. Possibly. For the moment. That means that you think that you're going to get her back. Look, Tony, I want to see Pat happy. And frankly, I doubt that you can give her the kind of happiness she deserves. Pat is in love with me. You think so, huh? Then I was right. About what? Well, you're here. It's not for Brian. You're just choosing him to get closer to Pat. That's a lie. Doing this for Brian's sake. You know, Kendall, when I first heard about you, all everybody said was that you were very, very honest. Why is it? When you didn't tell Pat, and you didn't tell Brian that you were still alive. I did it for what I thought was a good reason. To protect myself and both of them. But you made them miserable. And just when they were getting over, just when they were about ready to start a life again, you decide to come back. Now, that's not exactly my idea, but... Look, from what I've heard about you, you've done nothing but put Pat through hell from the moment you met her. What are you talking about? Pat and Brian and I were going to start a family together. So why don't you just get out of here? Let's get on with it. You know, the more I listen to you, the more convinced I am that you could never make Pat happy. But that's not your decision, is it? It's Pat, and she's already made that. Why can't you accept it? Let us get on with the rest of our lives. It's all come like you have some kind of God-given right to my wife and my son.
I think it'll happen a lot sooner than that. Well, it damn well better. You know, I think you're still in love with that. That's why you can't accept the fact that she's in love with me. You're right. I am still in love with my wife. Well, I guess that's it, isn't it? Okay. 
special to me. I'm sorry. Okay? Well, you sounded like you meant it. Look, it's just that some people make you comfortable and some don't. Most people in this town don't. You're one of them. Why? What have I done? Just who you are, that's all. You know too much. You slick. You, you got lots of brains and manners. That makes you feel uncomfortable. Well, it just shows me how much... Thank you. Shows me how much I don't know. All the things I should have learned, I ain't learned. I ain't feel too good about you having to write that form. I ain't dumb, mind you. I never thought you were dumb, Becky. Believe me. Anyway, knowing how to write good ain't got nothing to do with singing and playing the guitar. But who needs it? All I gotta know is how to write my name good. For autographs. Yeah, that's right. See, I can write, but I can't sing. So you can do something I can't do. Yeah. <laughs>
You have to love it, that's for sure. I know I do. Jane, you're always giving you yourself. You know, that really impresses me. Don't be too impressed, thing. Sometimes I think I... I do things for other people so that... I won't have any time to think about myself. Face my own problems. What do you mean? Thank you. 